Hello there, Tube again. I'm here going to show you some stuff. Jailbreak map making, some more stuff. Here's another map I have. Uh, it's going to be starting with the jump rope in this episode. Uh, it's fairly simple. The hardest part is just getting, making sure your controls are all right, basically. So here we have a pole that I made with two other poles, basically. Uh, I control clicked to uh, select them all and then control T and made it a funk rotating. Made the jump rope, changed the pitch yaw and roll to 90 and then 270. This is because of the way that it's orientated in the world. Uh, so you'll have to mess around with the pitch yaw and roll a little bit. Um, which is not very hard to do, it's just some trial and error uh, for the first few times just to get used to that. Uh, but yeah, you just test it out. If it's not swinging the right way, try a different pitch on roll and it'll probably start working the way you want it to. Uh, y axis is what you want. Uh, f your max rotation speed is going to be the main thing changing the speed of it obviously uh, go more into that a little bit later friction you just want higher than the default 20 probably uh, I put it at 100 because it doesn't mat really matter you don't want it too low blocking damage whichever you want it to however much more damage you want to do some people like insta kill with 30 that's about two hits even though it says 30 and 30 times 2 is 60 it for some reason it just does more than that I don't know why uh, so yeah, there's that. Then you just got these two, you know, pieces on the side that are just for looks. Your buttons, jumper button one, eh, it doesn't matter what you need these. Play before you reset, none of this matters. Use activates, don't moves. That's kind of self-explanatory. This is what you really need here. On press, jump rope, which is this. I just ta uh, targeted this jump rope here. Set speed, 0.4. And then the next ones I have a delay of 0.02, just uh, because. I don't know if that's necessary, but if it's not working for you, maybe that is necessary. I forgot if it is. Anyways. And the second speed here, uh, I forgot to uh, label these buttons, but it goes left from right. Uh, set speed, 0.6 with a get speed. I don't think the get speed is necessary. But, again, if it's not working for you, just add the get speed and it, it will work. Uh, get speed with 0.83, get speed with 1. 1 is the highest, the fastest speed it will go. If you want it to go faster, you'll have to change the max rotation speed and here. And then, your last one, on press, jump rope, set speed to 0. And that's your stop. So that's pretty much it. Uh, here's your open button. I'll just show you in game. Give you an idea. Bananas. Just have a little patience with this uh, loading screen here. pretty easy to make the jump rope. Uh, if I have time to explain something else, I will. Uh, I might go, go a little bit pay. into the armory. Just a little thing, a few things you want to think about while making your armory. Actually, I'll just do that now since I'm right here. Round time, 20, 40, doesn't even matter. Alright, so I have all these guns here. It doesn't really matter too much what you put in your armory. I suggest not putting in tasers because on a lot of servers it messes up the knife fighting last request. Uh, but it doesn't really matter. It's up to you if you want let's tasers go, go. really badly. To just put them in uh, I didn't put any um, auto snipers in here. Oh, I put one, I guess. But because I hate auto snipers, they're too easy to use. Uh, you might want to limit the number of ops and stuff to. Uh, just to give the terrorists a chance. 
set up nicely a row of incendiaries and frags in this nice looking case. I put all these guns in here and put stuff on top. Uh, but yeah, the armory, you probably want a way in the armory. Like, on this map, I made it so you can just go in and out this door. Which, some maps, you might not want that, so you counter terrorists aren't just like walking back and forth and kind of probably want a vent in there somewhere too. So, you know, the terrorists can get in from somewhere else. There are more chances at rebelling. I'm just gonna walk over the jump rope here. And start it up. So there's speed one. That's at 510 rotation speed. It's 0.4 set on the unpressed. It's 0.6, I believe. 0.83. And point one. Or just one, I mean. So let's see how good I am with my shitty. Uh. Oh! Okay. Uh, that was not what I expected. Apparently, it's a one hit kill, and I lied to all of you. But, uh, yeah. So if apparently, if you set it to 30, that's one hit kill. I thought it might be, uh, but I kind of forgot. Let's go, let's go. Maybe it is two hits occasionally, but I don't know. So I'm just going to do the jump rope a little bit more while talking to you a little bit more about just this Joburg map making maybe and uh, yeah, we'll get on to the next episode. So yeah, pretty much, uh, like I said in the, in the previous episode, you want to make it uh, a nice balance where you're, you're, the T's have a chance to rebel and also have a chance uh, not too easy to rebel. So it's the, the counter terrorists can, so the counter terrorists can, you know, have a good time as well and try to, you know, control you. So let's see how good I do here, and I'll, I'll end this video. One, two, three, go! Oh, oh! Okay, I got two jumps. So yeah, you can set a slower speed if you like. Uh, it's just really up to you. I just I recommend testing it out, and seeing uh, what you like, and, and you know. Also, I don't know if I mentioned this in the last uh, episode, uh, or showed you my cell door is breaking, which is really nice. If you're the warden, you're just wondering how to open the cell doors. Oh, cell button. Well, that's obvious. How can you miss that? Cell button, big letters, and you just shoot the button. And they break it. So simple. You don't even have to open or close them ever again. Just shoot the button from really long way away if you're the warden or, you know. You can press E on it as well, I guess, so that's boring. Anyways, I uh, hope you enjoyed the episode or got some helpful information out of it. Uh, thanks for watching, and probably next time I'll show you this bowling, which is totally my creation. I am so proud of my bowling because I haven't seen any other jailbreak map with it. And yeah, I created, I had the idea for it and it just happened to work out the way I planned on it. If you hit it to the side, you, you'll see it's a little more inaccurate. So it's not just like strike every time, you have to hit it like in the center. So if you start hitting it off to the side, you're gonna miss. But it's pretty cool, I'll talk to you about that last next time. Uh, see you later, have a good day. Goodbye.